Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm dragging. I'm dragging. But I'm getting out of the house anyway. <laughs> How are y'all? I'm good. I am good. I am trying to find my ooh la la. Somebody asked me the other day what color this was. It's ooh la la, baby. Hold on. Ooh la la from Lancome free gift. It's the only time. I use a Lancome powder some. That's the only way I can afford their lipstick and mascara is to get the free gifts. I mean, I could afford it. But I choose not to spend that much on lipsticks. And I get great colors in the free gifts. So, hey, how are y'all? Well, as something different would say, welcome to the party. <laughs> I love that girl in Orlando. If y'all don't watch her, you need to watch her. She's not doing as many videos because she started back to work at Disney World. And uh, she did a video the other day where uh, she was really bummed out because of all the negative comments that she was getting. Her mind is so quick and so fast and so hilarious. I mean, if y'all have never watched, <laughs> let me tell you this video to go watch of her. She's something different and a uh, cute, cute blonde. And she's married to Douglas Woolley. <laughs> That's all she calls is him, Douglas Woolley. But if you have never seen her video, why she quit beauty school. OMG, if you need a laugh, you've got to go watch that video. I have watched it several times and I laugh. And I'm not one to really laugh out loud at TV or, or movies or stuff, but um, it has to be really funny for me to laugh. And so, um, but I've, I've watched it gotta get some air going it's 60 but oh I get so hot when I am getting ready I know it's not hot flashes I'm past that it's just I'm a hot mama <laughs> yeah right <laughs> you just hot period just hot natured but um see I told y'all I'm pulling off on those little small roads I get ADD didn't I tell y'all that before well I do <laughs> So, I think my phone's crooked. Y'all probably watching me sideways, but anyway. But you've got to watch, back on track, Suzanne, back on track. You've got to watch her, I think it's called Why I Quit Beauty School, and it's something similar to that. So you've got to watch that. Oh my gosh, that is the funniest thing I have ever watched in my life. But um, she was getting just horrible comments. Um, she, um, I mean, she's, she's as cute as they come and she knows how to, um, she just, well, I guess the cosmetologist in her, um, she also knows just how to do her makeup so beautifully. I think it's going to be dark in here today because it's very overcast, but, um, she knows how to do her makeup and her hair and she's just cute, but my gosh, she can talk for an hour and that mind never quits. And I told her one time when I first started watching her, I said, you have the mind of Robin Williams. Because I was always so amazed at his, oh my gosh, just the ability just to jump from one thing to another to have everything. And she said that was one of the greatest compliments anybody had ever given her. But I just found out in the last few months, because I'm, I'm still fairly new to this YouTube thing, that there are what they call trolls. And that is people that get on other people's Facebook page, especially the successful ones, and um, and send horrible message to them, trying to discourage them to quit. And I mean, see, I can't think that way. My my mind doesn't even think about doing anything malicious to a person during the day. Honestly, I mean. I'm not saying that I haven't ever thought about doing something mean to somebody, but when I do, I pray about it. And and that was years ago, through some hard times in my life. But there are people that their daily 
goal is to do something destructive or something mean. And where I come from, <laughs> that's called evil. That's called evil. If you don't have anything better to do with your day than to sit and try to destroy somebody else's YouTube account, you got problems. You need a life. You need the Lord. <laughs> but they are. There's people like that. And so there had been people trolling her, telling her she's fat, she's ugly. And I'm like, my God, if they think you're fat, what are they liable to say on mine? But I'm just going to tell you right now, if I get those kind of comments on mine, I'm just going to delete them and block them. And I know they can come right back under a different name and everything. I know it can just be torture, but i tell you what I'll do. I'll start praying over them. I'll start asking the Lord to intercede. <laughs> I don't have that many subscribers, although I'm very proud of my 800 and something subscribers. Y'all are wonderful and uplifting and special to me. You really are special to me. Um, I know lots of times you're telling me what my channel does for you, but in turn, it blesses me because I know that on my teaching lessons that the Lord is using me to do something for Him, and so that blesses me. So I really do love y'all. I mean, I really do. Now, let me tell you about another, and I'm, I'm telling y'all about these people that already got so many subscribers, but let me tell you, about another beautiful person on YouTube, and that's Allie Brown, A-L-I Brown. She journals, she's a professional photographer, and she's as real as she can be. They gave up and sold everything they had and moved into a mission type, a church building in San Antonio, Texas, because they have committed their life two young beautiful couple they have children they have committed their life to a ministry of having prayer 24 7 wow they sold their house most of their belongings the Lord opened an opportunity for live inside this church and it's it's not it's a huge building it's not a traditional church but it's like a mission where they feed people they clothe people but they are living in just a matter of rooms. But she is so amazing and so refreshing. And, um, oh my gosh, she just, um, she's real. She's real. She loves the Lord. She leads the praise and worship there at that church. And um, then they coordinate the system of having people to pray 24 7 is that not amazing knowing that San Antonio and for things in this world is being covered in prayer 24 7 I went to my grandson's um, Christmas program last night and it just did a few songs but I'm, I'm the, the the quality's horrible because I was sitting behind a lady with a huge six plus and I didn't carry a tripod or anything because I just wanted to enjoy watching him but, but I'm gonna put it on there anyway but um, Pastor Kevin, I just think so much of him. He's the pastor of the church, a large Baptist church where my daughter goes. And he said, y'all, this world has gone crazy. This world has gone crazy. And he's right. And prayer, 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 prayer is the only hope that we have of touching God and making a difference. Well, see, some people would say it doesn't matter. Whatever it's going to be is going to be. No, that's not right. Prayer changes things because in the Bible, in the Old Testament, there would be times that God was going to wipe out a city and people would pray and intercede on behalf of them and he would change his mind. So prayer is still very important, very effective. But I just think that is so beautiful that Allie and her husband are doing that and gave up their home and everything and they're not paid to do it. Mm -mm. They're not paid. They, uh, I'm sure she's supporting them on um, um, her photography business and stuff. But check her out, Allie Brown, A-L-I-B-R-O-W, and tell her that Suzanne Light sent you over to her because I'm just going to tell you, I love her, never met her, hope to meet her. She's a blessing. She's super talented. And for those of y'all who love journals, 
you will love her because she's really into the journaling and all of that. But then she um, played some music and sang one of her original songs the other day. She does some inspirational and she's just funny. Oh my God, she does like bloopers and outtakes because she's really creative with that, obviously being a professional photographer. And so she did that, the other, I mean, she does that a lot at the beginning or at the end. I'm going up my mother's driveway, as you can see. I'm going here or there. Taking my love to a um, ladies luncheon that two ladies are providing for her church. Do I have time to go? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a huge Christmas party at my house tomorrow. But this lady right here is worth it all. She called me this morning. She said, no, we don't have to go because you don't have time. I said, no, we're going because you want to go. And uh, so I'll get her on here. Y'all, I love your comments about her. You're always telling me, I love your mother. She's so precious. And she is. She's so precious. I probably got us probably going to freeze her to death when she gets in here. But I'll turn the camera on her when she gets in here. She's just shaking her head. She's forgot something. You know, I'm blessed every, every, every day that I have her. I'm blessed. We lost a family member day for yesterday. Labriska Hemp Hill. Some of you probably, if you're in or been into Southern Gospel music, you'll know the singing Hemp Hill family. And Labriska is my mother's niece. Her daddy was my mother's brother, and she passed away from cancer. So we're sending our love to all the family in Nashville. Here she comes. What you making all them faces for? Man, I forgot my glasses. <laughs> oh Lord. Um, uh, I've been sitting down here with Shadow. Have you? And there's a, a crow or something like that. He put her ass in the house. Oh, don't, you can't say ass. I got you on there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> now, what did he do? He put her butt in the house. <laughs> oh, my Me going to a place where I'm supposed to be nice and go off talking <laughs> ugly. Well, ass is in the Bible. I know ass is in the Bible. One's on shadow, too. <laughs> Tell everybody good morning. I, when I go over these roots, it's like <laughs> so hard. Can can they see? Or are we? Yeah. Oh God, yes, and I am not it. looking. I'm gonna let them see the other side of me. No, oh, here we go. There we go. I'm being nice from now. On. Put your seatbelt on me, Faye. Okay. Do you know where we're going? Yeah, I know where it's at, but I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I know where. <laughs> I know where I know where the other girl lives, and I know she lives right down the road. Okay, right. and I know that it, the road that it's on. Well, so. I'm glad you know. That. I mean, I think I do. I thought I wanted you to. Um, I had just told them about just a minute about Labriska, uh -huh. about her passing away this week, uh -huh. and tell. I want you to tell about when she came to live with y'all. This is Labriska Hemphill I was telling y'all about, sang Southern Gospel for years, but she um, is my mother's niece. She's my brother's daughter. Brother's daughter. Mm -hmm. And tell it, tell me about when she came to, how old was she when she came to live with y'all? Well, she stayed with us a lot when she was three and four. Mm -hmm. And she was with me when Randy was baby at Mama's. So I don't know just exactly how old she was, but we kept her off and on. Mm -hmm. Not all the time, but off and on. But you know, she lived several years with Lila. Oh, oh, she did? She lived yeah, with she Uncle Eric and Lala? Oh, she went to school there. Uh -huh. Oh, that's right. You told me that until she was right. about 15. She was you? in the ninth grade, and her mm -hmm. mother came by and picked her up. I don't guess she ever, and she was doing wonderful in school. And I don't guess she ever went another day. Because the Goodmans did not believe in school. The Happy Goodman family. <laughs> they didn't go to school. <laughs> Working or in school. <laughs> <laughs> and I know them perfect. Howard Goodman used to be sweet on my mama. Oh, God, he was fat. <laughs> You can't say that, Mother, but I'm going to put it on here. <laughs> now, let me say it again. <laughs> Howard Goodman used to be sweet on my mama. Oh, he was a very nice girl. <laughs> no, no, boy. don't lie. <laughs> he was. He really was. Had the prettiest curly hair. Okay, so we can say that. Where am I going? Oh, yeah. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> Oh, so he was a nice curly head oh, guy. He, he was nice. just he was just big then he too, right? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but I told her one time, I said, Mother, if you'd stayed with Howard Goodman, I'd have been in the I could have been part of the Happy Goodman family. Mother, you could Mother, you could have been Vestal. Oh, oh. 
You could have worn your hair piled up on your I will not head. say. I will not say what's on my mind. No, don't say it, Mother, because if it's not nice, it's, it's not, not say it's it. what I'm well, thinking. We'll it's, say it after we turn it off, okay? <laughs> it's definitely not nice. <laughs> <laughs> but Labriska was a sweetheart yeah, and she was a beautiful. We, beautiful, beautiful, and I've got pictures of her. And I'll insert a picture here too because I know some of you are on my Facebook and some aren't. But um Yeah. She uh, beautiful, classy lady she was classy and um could sing oh my goodness could sing so much and um mother loved her and she loved mother and um the uh, i guess one of the let me see if i can get you back here the sun's gonna you know, be out like a booger you always say you look like a I booger i do look like one i look in the mirror well, you don't look like a booger to me you look cute okay oh dear god let me look then <laughs> Um, in 2009, before my sister passed away in 2010, uh, the three of us went up and spent the day with Labriska, and I'm so thankful for that. Yeah, we got the prettiest, dinner. it fixed us a big dinner, mm -hmm. and took us out to, uh, they had beautiful, beautiful property. Have they moved from that yet, Mother? They, they got another smaller place. Okay. Um, but she fixed us dinner and we stayed all day with her and then they took us out into their barn where their business was because Joel still preaches and they've both written books and still do some recording and stuff and um we, but we made um just we made a I made it on my Facebook cover we made a beautiful picture of me and Cece and mother and Labriska sitting on the couch together And um, it was just something I think I'll always treasure because that was a fun day. And not only just with Labriska, because Cece went and got to enjoy. And Cece wasn't feeling good then. You remember she had a hard time getting up that morning and getting. I remember she getting, standing in the creek? Got pictures of Cece. She took her shoes off and stood in the creek. She <laughs> sure did. She sure did. I got some good pictures. But anyway, we're going to a lunch. And I guess this is two ladies in your church preparing this for y'all, isn't it? They're doing something. <laughs> They're doing something. Well, I hope it's food. They told me to come down there. Because I haven't eaten anything. I drank a cup of cappuccino, and that's been it. So, um, and then, when I put her back out. <laughs> Uh-oh. I figured that was coming. You know from watching me that she's got a long driveway. Because when I'm going up it, I'm doing like this, mother, the whole time shaking. So, uh, one day, I... I I was teasing her, but she didn't have a clue. I was so serious. And I said, Mother, I'm in a big hurry this afternoon. And I said, I'm going to just drop you off at the end of the driveway and let you walk up the hill. She's like, hey, I'm not walking up that driveway. <laughs> I've been up a After all these years, I'm taking care of you. You're not dropping me off. <laughs> I was just dying laughing. <laughs> so I threatened her every now and then to throw her out at the end of the driveway. <laughs> but it don't happen because she knows it won't work. No, no. You could, you know what, you could so walk it though. Oh, I could so walk it. You'd be exhausted so you don't want to. I've walked it too many times. You've walked it too many times. You got ran down it a few times, didn't you? <laughs> 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 we yeah. won't talk about that. Through the air, one. <laughs> so, but we're going to a luncheon, and then when I take her back home, I'm going to Walmart and buying stuff to make meatballs, pimento cheese, uh, homemade pimento cheese, chicken salad, and uh, most everybody that's coming tomorrow is bringing sweets and so I've done this bevel party for over 10 years <laughs> and working there so they all said last year they wanted me to keep doing it well you know when you've been apart from people for a year you're not sure if they you know they really want to still come because two of our campuses one's like an hour from where I live and one's about an hour and 20 minutes so I sent out an email, I'm just saying, just trying to get a, you know, head count to see if y'all really do still want to have the party this year, because the house is decorated and everything. Well, I've got about 15 people coming tomorrow, and it may be more, maybe less, I'm not sure, but no, it's every bit of 15. And so they're bringing a lot of sweets and stuff, so that's going to be good, and then I'm going to kind of fix the pimento cheese and the chicken salad and... And what else did I say? Meatballs. I don't know, but you're not inviting me. You can come. Ashley and the boys are coming. I invite you every year, and you never come. <laughs> I'll have to clean up and comb my hair. <laughs> See how she does me? See how she does me? Mother, they love you on here. Well, I'm glad they do, because I love them. 
Who are they? I don't know, but I love them. I got two to go to heaven. That's right. And you got to love the ones you don't like to go to heaven, yeah, too. There's some. I, just, I believe I'll go to hell over one or two. <laughs> oh, they built a big old barn there. So it's a business of some sort. Is it? I think. I know the guy it's that lives there. See, it's where I turn every day. Uh -huh. I'm to go to church I wonder what they built there. It I must be a business. Was, but they really did. Yeah, I went, to school, they, I went to school with him. They fixed a good location. Mm -hmm. You know, fixed the ground good for mm -hmm. them. Too, yeah, it's nice. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure y'all just love this rambling. <laughs> Total rambling in the suns. I've got half sun on the face and half not but anyway we have a good time don't we mama yes we do we have a good time we laugh yes. that's what that's what we need to do we laugh all the time like today we found the pig oh yeah they watched that that's when they said they loved you and they said they one lady said said your mama said roll that one up before i become a popsicle <laughs> need a thing where I can get both of us on here. Oh my god. <laughs> so, you see how bossy she is? I look alright until I look up there and I look terrible. <laughs> when I look, but I look in the mirror, it wasn't much better. Anyway, it wasn't much better in the mirror. But we're going to the luncheon and then I'm going to the store and then I'm, um, Ooh, John's coming home, so I'll have to be up working because he's helping me finish, get everything ready. And then I have another big party next Thursday night for my Bible study girls. Oh, God. I know. You I know. I know. I know. I'm dough. I know. And I'm tired. But it's all good. It keeps me going, and I love it. Exactly what I love is. love the fellowship. Tell so. Mama crochet from the time I get up. Yeah, Mama crochets from the time she gets up to the time she goes Tell to I bed. Do. I'll stop it. All the trains oh, coming. Oh, the trains coming, and we do not cross the tracks. No, because it's the red, and it, the train well, and, is a and, mile long. And all these people are getting killed by going around these. Now, I don't see a train. Well, it's coming. You don't, and it'll be four miles long with one little man sitting up in it. And I don't even hear it. Well, we don't argue with it. I'm not going to argue with it. I'm going to see if this car... Oh, she's going right... Look, look, look. What an idiot. Well, I'm not going that way, are you? Well... You could, I guess, because it's likely to be here. Watch it get us and splatter us into gravy. No, it's about a mile and a half long. Take off. This makes me this really dangerous. nervous because people they, get killed every day they get going across train crossings. I wonder up. that that one is... And, I wouldn't have done it if you couldn't have seen. Well, you see a mile down the road. But you the, did you see there. the girl that just went around us? She did, she was on the phone. That's the kind of people get killed. Yep. She just darted up there and barely looked and went. So we're such rebels today. We let the, the I train stopped. cross him. So. I stopped. I stopped. Well, that I could I could see. Time. That's the only reason that I that well, you I. Can I see um, about a mile down on the road. Yeah, road. One, you can. One so. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this off. We live. Tell them we live. Tell them we live. Huh? We live. <laughs> we live. Praise the Lord. Now, I wouldn't have pulled out, but you can see a long, long way. But I don't know about where you live, but even in Birmingham, we've had so many people killed crossing. Trained. And I mean, just running across them, not looking, and the train just hitting them as soon as or they Or thinking get they could beat them. That's yeah. another thing. Yeah. Yeah, that train us. still hasn't gotten there. We're going you by the railroad tracks now. You don't so. argue with something that big. No, you don't. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. We're gonna have a good day. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Tell bye, Mama. Bye, bye. <laughs> I'm a nice person. Really. <laughs> she really is. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Bye, y'all. I have to stay keeping going.